Hello, beautiful tribe. My internet keeps going out, but I'm going to endure and go through this one more time and we'll see if it works all the way through. So my name is Emily Potter. I'm the director of the Lightworker Musicians Tribe and the Million Kisses Foundation. This is a topic that came up with one of our tribe members this last week and I want to honor it by first saying that I never do a live video unless I have experienced it myself because that is the most useful in keeping this authentic so that you know I have experience with these things. And so you are a reflection of me. If, you have been if you've been able to relate to this question at all and you're doing it inside of our tribe, just know that I completely resonate and, and have things to share with you as a way to overcome this and replace the old energy that doesn't serve you any longer with a new energy. And we're gonna get to that by the end of the video. So yes, what happens is that you compare yourself and what happens is that you'll always lose, for one, you'll always lose that there's always going to be thousands and thousands of people who are better musicians. And this is why it's important to talk about in this tribe because this is a place where we can actually hide some of those feelings because we are just an online tribe utilizing a certain amount of tools to connect with each other. We're not face to face. And so there's a lot of energy that can be hidden. If you're listening and watching a video of someone in our tribe and you are comparing yourself and feeling demoralized because they're so much better than you are and that's just the truth musically then you then say something to them, but if it's not authentic, only you will know it. You're giving a gift, and yet you want to make sure that in this tribe, we are holding a sacred container of authenticity. And so this is why it's important to talk about, because if you're not able to actually all the way celebrate that tribe member, then it's it's a moment for you to look at and reflect on, and there's a solution that we're gonna talk about of how to then replace that comparison energy so that you can actually authentically all the way celebrate that tribe member. This is really a, a refining piece that we can bring to this tribe that makes this even more of a magical and nourishing place. And that's actually one of the consequences if we don't do this work that I know very personally from myself. The first thing is that a lot of you who are comparing yourself to others, you're just not sharing with us at all. You're just not sharing with the world and you know we are a microcosm of the world. You're hiding. You're hiding your light. You're hiding who you are because you just don't feel like you compare. And so you haven't shared a live video with us. You haven't shared a video at all. You haven't shared your music with us because you don't compare compared to the other really talented musicians in this tribe. That's one of the difficult consequences of not doing your work around this. And then the second one is that you really cannot fully celebrate others around you. It's really difficult and it feels tense. It feels like a small little container because you haven't made any room to be able to celebrate others because all of the energy is getting sucked into you not being good enough. So replacing those things, this is, the tool that takes time to cultivate within you, but it is the most enriching and is, it is the direction and the solution to overcoming comparison energy. Take a breath to receive it. The way to release comparison energy is to deepen your relationship with the one thing that you've got that no one will ever, ever have. It's your voice, your musical voice, your song, your voice, your music. No one will ever have that. And I'm gonna share with you that that's a place that I land every time. When I see myself have those, those patterns of comparison come in and saying, Phew, okay, I am never gonna be as good as them, holy cow, and yet, in honor, I get to say, they will never have what I've got. You will never have what I've got. I will never have what you've got. 
And this is the one foundational place that allowed me to finally believe in myself as a musician. Did you know that when I quit my day job, I only knew seven chords on the guitar? It, it's ludicrous that I felt like I could be a professional full-time musician with only seven, seven chords on the guitar. And yet there will always be thousands and thousands and thousands of other people who know more about the guitar than I do. That will always be true. So will I always be making that my excuse why I can't go do what I want to do and do what I want, what I love. So it, it's the one place that you can land is you believing and deepening your relationship with you and your voice as the one thing, no matter how many other people are, are better than you, they do not have what you have. So leaning into that, deepening your relationship with that is the solution to comparison energy because then there's everyone available around the campfire. That person, that person, that person, everybody has something that you can't possibly compare. And I'm gonna give you an example. I want you to imagine two musicians, okay? Here's two. One, you just got to listen to a concert pianist. This pianist has won awards. You're in the concert hall listening and the skill level is beyond measure. It is so inspiring and so beautiful. And the places that she took you, inside of yourself just brought you to tears. It's so rich. Her proficiency, her skills, her love of what she's doing is so rich. That's the first musician. The second one, I want you to imagine that you just got to quietly put a little girl to bed, a little three-year-old girl. And before she says goodnight to you, she starts to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And she totally forgets the words and she's totally off key. And yet she just sings with her whole heart and it's a gift to you. She just wants to sing one little song with you before going to sleep. And it's amazing to you how deeply that touched a part of your soul. It was so healing and rich and profound. And you're so in awe with how connected she is to just the simple moment and the simple song. And it felt so good and so inspiring. Looking at these two side by side, is there any way that you can possibly compare these two musicians? You have the ability and you have the invitation to continue to deepen your relationship with your voice and if you are comparing yourself to others and you are letting that be something that's holding you back, consider believing deeper that your voice actually really matters. With seven chords, with two chords, with a million chords on the guitar, with you being on, on pitch or not, you tapping into your voice and allowing that to matter is where you replace the energy of comparisons. This is the magic. This is the magic. And I bring this as a solution to those who are struggling with that in our tribe. And we fortify this tribe in the spirit of celebration. And this is the only one. This is not a place that we are giving each other critiques or criticisms or feedback. We are only looking for each other's heart. We want authentic heart here because everything else then is just the, the scenery. It's just amazing to, to you to be able to listen to the heart with the scenery. It's where the magic is and where your music medicine is. I'll share with you a bit of my music medicine. The reason why I was able to finally believe in myself and to stop comparing myself so readily is because even though I only know seven chords when I was about to go and quit my job and be a full-time musician. My music medicine consists of believing in people's dreams. And I have, with honor I get to say, I have never met anyone who believes in dreams 
as much as I do. This is my music medicine. I sing about overcoming fears and being brave and living to our potential of why we came to the planet, living our soul's purpose. This is, this is not to be compared. So even if I came in to offer my music medicine in only seven chords that I never get better as a musician, I have my music and my voice and my message and my medicine within my musical space to be able to offer the world. And that cannot be compared. So when you are ready to actually deep, deepen your relationship with yourself at the next level and to really activate the potency of what your music medicine is, we do that work together. When those of you who are ready, reach out to me. We activate it and spring it to life in very beautiful ways, connecting you to that potency so that it becomes so enriching that you spend all of your time focused on it. That's the work that we do. And then you have a lot more room to celebrate others. You have a lot more room to engage with people and to, to shine at your brightest level because you are actually doing that work and cultivating that inner knowing and deepening relationship with yourself. For those of you who are ready to do that work at the next level, reach out to me and we'll connect to the potency of you and how important your voice is in the world. I look forward to a one-on-one -on -one with you. And until then, I will send my love and blessings for the weekend and say hi to all the people who are here. These are the only ones that I can see. I can see Tim, Byron, Jackie, Kara. Hi, and thank you all so much, so, so much for engaging in this conversation and creating this rich, nourishing relationship with each other in our tribe that extends as a microcosm out into the world. And for those of you who are ready to take the next action step, I am here. I'm a resource for you, and I look forward to doing this beautiful work together for and in behalf of you being your brightest and greatest self. Okay, I'm here. Talk to you later.